everybody and welcome back to another episode here from my Minecraft Hardcore Survival Series. How is everybody doing? Oh man, I'm doing so good. Still alive, not dead yet. Thank you all so much for all the support though on this series. You guys are what's fueling me to stay alive as long as possible. And thank you all so much for all the support. We're getting like 3,000 likes every single video and that's just insane. So keep it up. You guys are awesome and I love your face. In the last episode, we built this beautiful library villager trading hall and I have have it all set up let me show you what i got in here so we have a new fortune guy yes don't tell the old fortune guy i have no idea where he's at he's kind of homeless right now wandering the streets wandering around wondering why i'm not using him anymore it's because i got this guy 16 emeralds for a fortune 3 book come on this guy's beautiful and amazing and i'm gonna close it on this uh, the door on his face okay cool <laughs> that's awesome I'll, I'll see you later okay boom looting three baby Look at that. 16 emeralds as well. Amazing. Boom. Sharpness 5. 24. Not too bad, but it's, it's all right. Bye. Now, feather falling 4. That's right. 26. Better than nothing. Go to sleep. And then we have our new mending boy. In the last episode, we had another one, but I kind of uh, let him wander away. Uh, he's lost and we will never be found. I got a new guy. This guy is 12. Come on. You can, I can leave the door open for him. He's special. Blast protection. Everybody says sauce is one of the most important protections is blast protection, especially for creepers. So I got this guy right here. 18, not too bad. Go to sleep. Now, Silk Touch is one of the greatest in the world. Eight only. You can stay awake. Efficiency five. 45. This is the worst, but it's better than nothing. Protection four. You know what? It's basic, but it does the trick. Go to sleep. And we have Unbreaking, this guy right here. 431. This is not that good. But you know what? I'll take it. It's better than nothing. You go to sleep. So what do you guys think? These are awesome trades. <laughs> is that my, am I missing anything? Maybe fire protection, right? But I think all of these will do us just lovely for now. Also, another anvil. Hopefully, this lasts longer than the last one. And then if you noticed in the last episode, we found one of the rarest sheep in the whole entire Minecraft universe. A pink sheep. So you know what? I had to build something for them. A nice little housing area just to honor their presence and they just bat me in the in the background if you heard it here it is five four three two one new pink sheep house bam look at this thing i just transformed one of these little guys i think it was uh this one it was like this one exactly like this one so i transformed this one matching the same styles we've been using throughout this series and i love it it even has a little peak there at the top pop out logs here on the side overhangs here dark oak Oh, regular oak in the middle. Oh, so, so cool. And there it is. And Pink Sheep's name is Pinky. <laughs> this is Pinky's house right here, everybody. Say hi to Pinky. Pinky, say hi to everybody. <laughs> Perfectly on time. <laughs> wow. That was like I cued you to do it and you did it. You're so sweet. Pink Sheep, the greatest sheep. I love, I love Pink Sheep right here. Pinky's the greatest. Oh, but check out that house. Oh, man. This is an awesome transformation. So I'm going to do a couple more of these going down these rows uh, just to add a little more life. So it's not just a functional building like this sweet, sweet thing right here. How are we doing on potatoes, by the way? Oh, my. Wow. Okay. Um, let me do a little bit of trading. Hey, lazy boy. I see you're still doing uh, your lazy boy stuff right there. Look, you're leaving potatoes right there on the ground. I'll get, I'll get it for you. Uh, do you have any emeralds for me? Yep. Okay. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. Do something with your life. Let me see those little fire bubbles. Oh, I didn't see fire bubbles, but I did see a, a nice little gold uh, nugget you have right there in your pants. Hold on. I think I had my, my particles off. Yeah, I had them off. I didn't see your fire bubbles. Now I can see them later on. Oh, there it is. I saw one uh, little uh, uh, bubble going out. Okay, give me more. What you got? Oh, you also got melons. Okay, we need to do a melon and pumpkin farm very, very soon. But that's not what we're doing today. Today, we're going to take advantage of those awesome villagers we have right there in our library. And I mentioned in the last episode, I think it would be pretty cool to make a, a sugar cane farm to get all the paper. We get those papers and convert them into emeralds so we can do even more trading oh this is gonna be a great day oh hi you're gonna give me a hug who is pushing me hello what are you doing loose oh you're the old fortune boy okay don't be mad at me okay i promise i still love you wow rude give me more give me more give me give me give me give me give me give me very nice 39 emeralds job well done and since we got these emeralds might as well do a little bit of trading right here i feel bad let me open the doors for them okay wake up it's time to wake up time to get to work everybody you too blast protection boy now, I need a uh, mending. So, let me do... Uh, okay, hold on. I need books, too. Boop. Give me... um, Give me two of you. Why not? I never put it on my air sausages, so let me put that right there. And I'm going to put it on the sparkly spoon. Air sausage upgrade. Let's go. Sparkly spoon upgrade. Come on. 
beautiful. Did I put it on this guy? And I already put it on this guy. Now, we also have a problem. I have no more diamonds. I have one diamond left to my name, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a mining session in a little while so we can see if we can get a little bit more. But before we do any of that, let's see how many uh, materials we have in order to make a sugarcane farm because we're gonna need some observers, um, a hopper, and pistons. Lots of pistons. And lots of observers. I think I know what I'm doing. Oh, wait, I need one more mining. Excuse me, sir, can I have one more? Thank you. Because I need it for my helmet. Boop. Boop. There it is. Oh, and guess what? I need a name for this helmet right now. Hashtag helmet. Give me a good name and I'll add it on the next episode. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing at names, by the way. Thank you. Also, you know what? Let's increase that protection. Why not? Uh, protection boy. Can I have something? Thank you. 17. Oh, bargain. Oh my God. It's almost nighttime. Bam. Bam. There it is. Oh, much better. Boop. Now, go to sleep. Sleep, 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 sleep. Hurry up. Hopefully nothing spawned outside. It's coming. Oh, and guess what? I made a tutorial on this bad boy right here. So it's out on the channel right now. I released it the day before this video goes live. So go ahead and check it out. I'm going to put a link in the description if you guys uh, want to build this thing in your world. Also, I made it bigger. Yeah, that's right. Uh, instead of three pods, like right here. Oh, hello. I forgot I had a pressure plate there. Instead of having one, two, three on, on one side and three on another, I made it a little bit longer so you guys can have more storage. So there's four and four, which is awesome. So enjoy. Have fun uh, uh, building this thing. <laughs> Let me know if you guys do. Let me know. Send me pictures you know on twitter discord uh, i would love to see this build in your world so i need observers and pistons right all right let's get all this cobblestone right here we're gonna need a lot of these bad boys bomb bomb okay uh we, okay we don't need that many i don't know how big we're gonna make this thing but i think uh, we should do let's see uh maybe 13 is a good lucky number right no i don't know bomb uh, f f uh, guess 14. Um, <laughs> let's do let's do 15. Let's do 15. I'll take you, Dark Oak, and a little more cobble. 15 is a nice round number. All right, I think that should be fine. We'll see what we do with it. Now, we also need a hopper. Let's make a chest. Hopper. Boom. I think one is all we need for this one. Then I got some extra rails we can use right there. I think uh, let's just make all a uh, powered rail, actually. Let me make power rail again. I need a stick. All right, that should be perfect. And I think I might need a redstone block to power it. Let's just get a couple, just in case. Uh, redstone with sausage. Who would have thought? Since we're here already. Uh, might as well make another axe. I've made so many of these. This is um, this is sad. But guess what? Look at this sad thing right here one time. And okay, we'll, we'll, we'll upgrade that. Hopefully, let's get some more later. Hey, Brownie, how you doing today? Doing great. Oh man, let's go ahead and just go for a little bit of a of a drive down the road over here. We're gonna build a sugarcane farm. This is gonna be amazing. I just have no idea where to put it. What's the best spot? Uh, especially since we got a probably afk around there so what i'm thinking since we're gonna do a lot of afk and uh at the bone farm right uh might as well put it somewhere around there and we have all the sugar cane we need right here look at that that's perfect um so i'm thinking hmm how about we put it right over on this side right here huh is that pretty cool i think it's a good spot we can still take advantage of afk right down below and uh we'll have the sugar cane running at all times right here in this little spot and it's plenty of space right you going you gonna climb the vines are oh, you cute check this out so this is gonna be a 15 long run now since we do have 15 observers and 15 pistons is gonna be perfect for this little spot a uh, block of redstone in the middle so this can power all the powered rails we're gonna put on the ground and then over here it's gonna put a double chest should be fine and then there should be a hopper that goes right into this uh and i think we're good to go now <laughs> just power rails all the way to the end and all of those are powered perfect uh then we're gonna put a hopper mine carpet i'm not gonna put it now well let me put it out so you guys can see it works uh but we're gonna take that out because it's gonna be really annoying um yeah it worked perfect okay power rail shush your mouth get out of here stop it thank you oh no i knew i forgot something we need dirt um i'm just gonna take a little bit off the top over here it's not bad it's okay don't tell anybody why is this so slow efficiency three give me a second i'm glad i got these librarians excuse me efficiency five boy may i borrow oh i need more emeralds oh god you're so expensive can i borrow one of these thank you boop 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 come on man hey i got seven uh, I guess I can do this. Excuse me, I need one extra level. Um, is it okay if I do a little bit of trading? Thank you. Oh, huh, huh. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I guess I'll throw it on the floor. We don't got any space. Ha <laughs> ha. You're no good to me, sir. Thank you anyways. I guess we can spend a couple seconds there in the, uh, the skeleton farm. This is not your new home. That barrel's gonna go away. Don't get used to it. All right, I guess we're AFK for a little bit. Um, I just need one level. The things I do for a silky smooth show. That was fast. I don't want this boat. And boop, boop, 
Look at that. Oh, that's gonna be amazing. Okay, time to get some more dirt. You know what I just noticed? I only needed two pieces of dirt more. One, two. That's fine, now I can do this. Very nice. All right, back to work. And now we place the dirt on the tippy top like so. And I can just lift this for now. Don't get used to this. That's right. And lift up this side. Let's go up one more. All right, now we need a little channel of water here in the back, but we can't uh, mess around with what's happening here with these uh, the little minecart. So we need to seal this up and uh, let's just do this. And might as well just cover this up too. And I'll do a little bit of texturing. We might not even see this from the outside, but, um, oh, we ran out. Okay, let's get some more. Oh, greetings. Are you here to see my brand new build? It is going great. Thank you for passing by. I don't really need any leads right now. I would take those from you. And now we know the humane way of doing it by just using a little bit of a boat. Uh, but, oh, what is this? Can you, can you get out of here? What is this guy even doing? Excuse me. You're in between my build. Just go, go, go. Is he stuck? He's stuck. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Yes, I'm doing tech training. Don't judge me. Hello? Hello. Thank you for passing by. I'll see you soon. Go to the village. Maybe somebody wants your services. Goodbye. All right, much better. A little bit of tech training. Why did I do that? I don't know. What are you even trading? Oh, blue eyes. Not bad. Oh, I like red tulips. Uh, I don't want anything. Please leave. Um, and now I think over here I'm going to do some upside down stairs. Get out. Thank you. Upside down stairs so we can open the chest, but also to cover up the background. I think we're doing pretty good right here. So I got this all laid out. I'm going to put some detail uh, bits here. Maybe some upside down stairs going up like this. So it looks uh, a little cooler on the bottom, which looks nice. And then in the front, let me show you guys. This is what we got. So this upside down stairs going down all the way down this row. We got the power rail here. I might cover this part up maybe with some trap doors, maybe with some details here. But for right now, that's fine. Um, uh, I got this little channel right here of all the water in place. Now above this, uh, I'm going to put um, just a bunch of stone and cobble uh, and then uh, we can put our pistons our observers and our sugar cane so let me let me get some sugar cane real fast hi sugar cane i'm gonna need you for a moment thank you oh man we just, hey, you know what let's just get this all out of here this is just uh, ugly ah much better oh i left some behind boop, boop, boop. you know what that one's just too far away to go get let's just leave some for aesthetic purposes though just in case there we go that's pretty maybe one more on this side of the river boop okay good okay let's go back you know i haven't seen brownie in like 30 minutes hope they're all right brownie there you are my friend just keep wandering around you're good you're, you're all right can you guys please get out of here please 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 thank you bye now let's lay this down so right here we're gonna do a little bit of a mixed cobble and stone brick just going down randomly scattering like that make it look pretty cool boom 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 there it is perfect then on top of these we're gonna be putting our pistons all facing this direction and let me see if i can sneak this one in right about there oh uh, nope i'll just do this Boop. perfect do a little hop skip it a skip get up to the tippy top and then up here we're gonna be placing observers and they're all gonna be facing this direction with that uh, little uh, dot pointing outside lovely so just like that and then above this we're just gonna go ahead and just pillar up could be a mixture of any one of these blocks that's fine and it should go right up to here and then we just grab some redstone dust and just take this all the way down like so not there up to there perfect that should work lovely so now let's test this out hopefully it works grab some of our uh, sugar cane and let's take it up. So if this were to be like this, we place all our sugar cane down, which technically it'll be like this right now. Perfect. And then if it were to grow up like this, it's fine. But the second it gets to the observer, it'll go like uh, so. Ba ba bang bang. Perfect. Oh baby. Red stone with sauces. There it is. So they're gonna shoot it out. It's gonna go up, pop, just like that. Go crazy right up against the wall. But what we're gonna do is now we're gonna grab some glass and we're gonna lay this down all the way here. So nothing escapes. Everything goes down. But the trick is we're gonna have our hopper minecart down here going back and forth so it's gonna be a hundred percent lossless that's right it's gonna be amazing but um let's figure out how we're gonna cover this up though let's make a nice design i've been hard at work check this out so this is the design that i got for the back the front i'm still kind of debating what to do uh but this is what we got so right here on the side we got this all sealed up then in the back i got this look which is cool it matches what we did over here on this side it looks like it belongs right we got these cool archways here kind of what we did uh similar over here in that area right there oh, what is that guy doing outside whatever uh but i also might do a little bit of uh maybe overhangs here on the side but for the back i love it this looks pretty cool also the design looks awesome now for the front this is the part i'm not sure i wanted originally to leave this open but uh it's dangerous so i'm gonna seal it in so it's gonna have like a little three by three uh walkway over here but just open though it looks really really nice if we just stop right here and left it all open if this wasn't hardcore I probably would have left it open, but I want to seal it in. <laughs> I'm going to seal this thing in uh, with a little 3x3 three three, 
uh, on the side. Now, the roof. I'm not sure yet. I'm thinking maybe just a slab roof right here until we get to this section. And then over here, we can have a, a simple step roof going up and down. Uh, kind of like what we did there with the dark oak. Yeah, uh, something like that. So a slab roof will take it to here. And it'll go straight up with dark oak. And then in the middle, we'll probably do a mix of dark oak and... Well, so maybe strip dark oak and dark oak uh, slabs like this. And then this will go all the way down to the end, just like this. And then in the middle, we're going to bring in some dark oak logs. So this will go all the way down like that. And then the next one will be just dark oak and then more log and then more slab. Oh, and that ends perfectly like that. But the only thing I would probably do here, I would put a stair at the end and then continue like so with the step pattern. This will be the center, right? That'll be a slab. And then this will go back down from, I think, here, right? This will go down like this. Um, oh, I got to do something with that. We'll see. So that will go down. Oh, I messed up. That That's just a, a mess up completely. I'll fix this. Hold on. Oh, can I sneak under here? Oh, yes, I can. All right. So then this will go at this level. I think that'll be good. Let's go down before. Oh, my God. It's nighttime. Hurry up. Let's see. Oh, I like that transition. It goes roop right that. Okay. And then we can do something there to cover that up. Let's see the front. Okay. I think this will be pretty cool. All right, let's finish off that roof. Now this right here is a very awesome sugarcane farm. Check that out. I really want to replace some of the top up here and add maybe some shroom lights or glowstone or something so we can have some lights in here. Uh, but it is working so nicely. Uh, on the inside, I have these little glass separations and I have the door right here on this side. The slab roof, it's just, it came out perfect. And then I added an extra bit of slab here on this side and then on this side just to give a nice transition on the inside here. Uh, now we're just adding a little bit of lighting here so nothing bad spawns. Also gonna add a little bit of flower pot action just in random spots spots right here grab some flowers in a little bit i love the flooring but i want to add maybe some oak down here uh, which is awesome and check out all the sugar cane we have so far watch this bam look at that that is so cool let me stretch this out right here and we'll let this run uh throughout the whole entire day and see what we get uh, also added a little bit of uh andesite here to the wall so it does look a lot cooler but we do need to do a lot more terraforming on the outside even do a path that kind of curves into there but check that out i added these nice little detail bits here on the outside just to break up that just dark roof right and that looks awesome i kind of like also that it's not really centered uh to it because if i really wanted it centered i probably would have put it on every pillar going back uh but i think i like it that it's kind of off center uh and it looks cool look at that right there with the trap doors and the stairs going up and then on the other side i gotta repair you don't worry i'll get some iron for you soon from this side it looks like this which is pretty cool as well i dropped this down a little bit more and i have a, a little bit of a texture block back there which looks pretty awesome uh over here i uh, kind of uh, got rid of that extra log we had here on the top so i made it a flat line going straight down but then i added the trap doors going down like this and it looks pretty cool check that out from this angle as well let's go back a little more man i gotta repair all you guys you know what i should get all of these out of here because if they're getting hurt the villagers can get hurt too right Huh, well, I'll take care of that. But then back here, look at that. Oh, that looks so cool. Let me know if you guys want a tutorial on this build. Uh, it's pretty awesome, right? I like it a lot. Now, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little bit of groundwork over here. Uh, break some of this stuff off. Maybe add a little bit of coarse dirt. Uh, oh, we can get finally Podzo. I'll go over there on the other side and get some of that as well. And then do a little bit of a path that goes down from here. I want it to curve down like so to the path we got already and curve down this direction until we get to this area here and then we can get in from right in there i think that'll be pretty cool right about there nice little curve off right there cool okay uh and i gotta find brownie socks brownie brownie what are you doing all the way over here Look, come on with me you just want to stay out of your fam give him a kiss very nice another kiss very nice <laughs> all right check this out i've been doing some work and it's looking awesome and we got a villager trying to get inside don't you dare go in there that is not your house that is not your workstation those are aesthetic barrels or i'm gonna put other stuff in there later whatever now watch this i did a little bit of work uh, a little bit more detail on the roof i liked how it was originally but i was like you know what we can make it look a little fancier uh so i decided to do some things oh my god we have an infestation. I'm glad I have those trap doors. They can't get in. They're not smart enough. Uh, but check this out. <laughs> I was uh, I, I connected these lines finally. I did, connected at least these three. This one I didn't want to connect the edges just because I didn't want it off the that edge right there. This little this little border. So we have that inside. But the rest is connected to these beams going up with the trap doors and the and the stairs. And then on the top we got this cool lining right there, which looks really really awesome. I didn't do anything else on the other side. Everything else is exactly the same. I did add a little bit more wall right here. 
uh, and some uh, some trees started growing over here. They started growing some trees over here and a little wall right here, a little divider. But the path, it is looking so good, going right up here to the top and it's doing is some work. Hi, would you like to go inside? Would you like to be a fisherman inside my sugar cane farm? Okay, no, get out. Bye. Oh, God, I, I closed myself. There it, is, there it is. And this is looking so good. This thing must have gone off a little while ago. Uh, oh, it's doing some work. So I'm going to go ahead and convert some of these awesome bad boys here. Uh, let's just leave those. Uh, hold on. And let's go and see if we can sell some of this paper to our librarians and get some emeralds. Hello, sir. What are you doing on the outside? Who are you? Oh, you're the four to three guy. Okay, don't be mad. He's upset. I forgot I had a crafting bench in here. Hold on. Uh, put all my wood away. So, you know what? They're not gonna notice anything. I might as well just knock this little piece down anyways. Uh, this will be the next uh, rebuild here. The next transformation. They're not gonna notice. Hopefully you no know, villagers come out here. It's a little bit of a drop. I'll fix later. You know what? Just for symmetry, uh, let's get rid of that. And let's get rid of that. Let's go ahead and put a crafty bench up here. Uh, oh, come on. Uh, come on, I did it twice. All right, got it there. And boop, there it is. Let me sleep. Sleep, 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 hurry up. Oh, perfect. Now I just need a bunch of paper. Bam, bam, bam. There it is. Who wants to be my first paper trade? I'll do it to a mending friend over here. Let's see if we can unlock some more stuff. 24, let's go. Boom, boom. Oh, wow. What are you going to unlock for me? What are you unlocking for me? Knockback. What a waste. Uh, uh, blast protection boy. Give me some more stuff. That's it. Uh, go to sleep. Thank you, mending friend. I guess I'll take a knock back. That's no big deal. But that's it. Just seven emeralds. That's not too bad. Just for that little bit of time we spent. Oh, that's awesome. Let's put more emeralds right in here. What a great day. Brownie. Brownie left me again. Where did Brownie go? They're off to their family again. Oh, man. Don't worry. I'll make that horse stable next. I promise. Oh, come on. All right. That's fine. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got a fisherman now. You gonna be a fisherman? All right, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life. Do your thing, fisherman. Bucket of cod, huh? String. Hmm. Nah. <laughs> but that is it. That is all there is to it for today. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for uh, joining me along for the ride while I do a little bit of redstone. Is there any other redstone builds that I should be doing here in this world? What should we build next? We should go ahead and maybe do some more villager profession uh, spots. W what is uh, very essential now to get emeralds? Because I want a lot of emeralds so we can get all the good things. And you know what? I got a good idea as well. I was thinking about making a potion brewing area, but that's going to be a little bit hard because we got to go into the nether and find ourselves a fortress, get some blades, get some blaze rods blade powder all that what if we do something else in the nether what if we set up a little bit of a piglin bartering farm and that way we get all the fire resistance we need that's an amazing idea right all right we can maybe do that in the next episode but for right now i am out of here thank you all so much for watching thank you for joining me on this journey of not dying in a hardcore world and still be, uh, be able to build pretty things we got a fisherman in there now <laughs> I'm out of here for now. Thank y'all so much for watching. Catch you on the next episode from our hardcore survival world. Goodbye. Get out of here.